subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hello and welcome back to World 360. I think we can all agree that ambassadors are critical to any country's diplomatic relations with another country. Why then does the nation that claims to be the leader of the free world seem to be facing a shortage of ambassadors? I'm talking about the Joe Biden-led administration in the US. According to the White House, as of 5th November, Biden had made 78 ambassadorial nominations, but just eight of them, about 10%, have been officially confirmed. If we look at the website of the American Foreign Service Association, which is a union for the diplomatic cause, we can see that envoys have been confirmed for these countries. Victoria Reggie Kennedy to Austria, David Cohen to Canada, Thomas Knights to Israel, Jeffrey Hovenier to Kosovo, Jonathan Eric Kaplan to Singapore, Jeffrey Lane Flake to Turkey, Kenneth Lee Salazar to Mexico, and Tom Udall to New Zealand. There are also four ambassadors confirmed to international organizations like NATO and the UN or the OSCE. But if you notice, ambassadors to key strategic partner countries and even the Quad countries like India, France and Japan are yet to be confirmed. Even China, arguably the US's biggest adversity at this time, is yet to have an ambassador. People like Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti, who was nominated by Biden to be ambassador to India back in July, are still waiting for confirmation. If you recall, President Biden had earlier promised to put US diplomacy back in the hands of genuine professionals. But it appears that almost a year into his term, only a handful of ambassadors have actually been confirmed. Compare this to former presidents Barack Obama and Donald Trump, who had 77% and 70% of their ambassadorial nominees confirmed respectively at the stage. The ambassador shortage in the Biden administration is now proving to be quite a problem. For example, when the US signed a new security agreement with Australia and the UK, known as the AUK-US in September, we all know how it upset US's oldest ally France. But no presidential envoy was on the ground in Paris to smooth things over. President Biden has nominated former ambassador to Belgium, Denise Bauer, to serve as ambassador to France. But she too is awaiting Senate confirmation. There's no other country in the world, I think, probably that has ever had 80 vacant ambassadorships at one time, said Ambassador Eric Rubin, president of the American Foreign Service Association. So what's causing the ambassador shortage? As spelled out in the US Constitution, the president nominates ambassadors, and it is the Senate who approves these nominations by a two-thirds majority. Keep that in mind, two-thirds. If we look at the makeup of the Senate right now, it is split down the middle. There are 100 senators and half of them are Democratic and half of them are Republican. So what we're seeing today is nominations being held up in the Senate and that has much to do with messy domestic politics in the US, specifically between US President Joe Biden and his Republican foes in the Senate. Some key opposing figures are Republican Senator Ted Cruz of Texas and Josh Hawley of Missouri who have put a hold on the confirmation of most of Biden's picks because they object to certain administration policies rather than issues related to the diplomats' qualifications. Several figures like Democratic Senator Jian Shaheen have pointed out that if ambassador vacancies persist, it could seriously hamper advancing American national security interests across the world. Thank you so much for watching. This is Pia Krishnkuti for The Print. We'll be back soon with a brand new episode.